Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Appalachian Eclectic. I'm Aaron. Got Miss Corey out here with me, and today we are going to be working around the uh, deer rescue. So, right now you can see where we're at. You can see the pen where the fawns uh, go outside. I guess for their wreck time. That's where they stay most of the time. And what we're going to do is we're going to build some little. Uh, kind of shelters basically just uh we're gonna take some some wood and make a teepee and put branches around it, a place for them to hide and so that they can start learning uh how to <clears throat> how to hide when they're out in the wild so it's basically going to kind of resemble you know just a thicket or a brush pile won't be too hard luckily where we are on this part of the property someone's already done a lot of the hard work of randomly cleaning up and stacking uh some perfect size logs so we don't even have to cut any of those hmm? that pile's nicer i know that pile is nicer that's what i was looking at <laughs> so i've got our wagon here we're gonna go ahead and set up and get us some uh get us some logs to get started with So we got us some sticks up here. You see where we were trying to make something just wasn't, they're, they're like ghosts. They like to jump around and play. And uh, right now they're all inside. It's almost time for the lunchtime feeding. So they're all in there, but I'm sure some of them will be wandering out here. So <clears throat> I'm going to be using the sticks, not using any screws or anything because I don't want something to get knocked apart and the screw be sticking out and then I uh, get hurt. And uh, I don't want to use any kind of synthetic anything because they are like goats they like to chew so we're going to be just using some uh natural hemp uh fiber rope here making our little teepees i've got an idea nothing set in stone so miss Corey's help here we're going to see if we can't figure something that will be pretty easy and we'll be able to move around and they'll be able to hide
All right, so you can see they're already coming up to check it out. And first thing I'm gonna do is tie up all these little loose ends of rope because they're gonna find those fast and they're gonna work on getting some brush over it. Probably have to go cut some more uh, to give them a place where they can practice hiding. Are coming out here enjoying some of the leaves we'll probably go get some more um some more stuff here in just a second to add on to it but this will kind of replicate you know a uh, thicket or a brush pile somewhere they can hide uh that their mom would have taught them to hide in so that's the main goal here is trying to get these guys um back where they can be released back into the wild and luckily we have a whole mountain back here that they're able to start on so we don't have to take them to a really strange place we'll be getting a lot more into the whole process here at um, green mountain and filling you guys in but we thought we'd start with what needed to be started because we needed to keep up uh, some stuff with the inspection so now we probably will make maybe three or four more of these so that these guys all have somewhere to play and hide all right, well, let's go get some more uh, pine branches and we'll finish this up. All right, so I don't have any oil or uh, oil, two cycle oil for my chainsaw. And I've been needing to trim up some of these uh, branches here in the driveway anyway. So we're going to do that and take these up there and see how they're making out and liking it. about what I was looking for I didn't want to make this thing pretty you know like a yard ornament or look really cool trust me the thought crossed my mind but I want it to look just kind of like something you would see out in the woods and obviously not exactly like that but you know from a few feet away it just looks like a bunch of brambles or you know a down tree so that's kind of what we were after so now I've got one here I've got stuff started for another one. Uh, we're going to be doing a, a kind of an expansion and a remodel of some of this in the coming months. So, you know, this is going to have to come down and go up. That's one reason I just used the twine. You know, it didn't get real elaborate. And now it's definitely not going anywhere for a while. So we'll just add some green leaves and stuff, 
you know a little bit along we'll be able to move it around and uh have a few more and then it won't be any big deal when we get ready for the remodel we need to make new ones we'll just take and pile all this up and burn it and make new ones so cheap you know save me less than an hour to make it i think it costs four dollars for that bell of twine um i thought i'd get two of these out of one roll of twine nope so i'm gonna have to run back to town which is a pretty good hike and get some more twine all right guys well i hope that you guys enjoyed this video a little bit of what we've got a little bit of the eclectic craziness going on around uh, around here never know what kind of stuff we're going to see today so make sure and like subscribe and share so that you can uh not miss out on any of the other adventures and follow our journey on getting these guys reintroduced back to the wild um, all orphans parents killed by car or, you know other kinds of random accidents uh so all these guys didn't have anybody to show them how to make it all right well i'm gonna put the gopro up and that way we can make sure that uh, this is going to work out so i'll leave you guys with some fawns and their new shelter